Hi, everyone, and welcome back to The Leader Journey. Today joining me is Naila. She is our Senior Finance and Purchasing Officer, and we're talking about COVID still. Um, welcome, Naila. Thank you for taking the time and sharing your story with us. Hello, Sandy. Thank you for inviting me. You're very welcome, and I look forward to hearing your experiences. So looking back on the last three months, or almost four months it is now, um, what would you say is the main impact of the COVID-19 virus and all the measurements that were taken on you know, your job, your day-to-day -day job, and um, you personally? Overall, businesses must adapt the financial and operational challenges of coronavirus while rapidly addressing the needs of their people, customers, suppliers, and stabilizing revenues. It's a fact that it has radically changed the macroeconomics outlook for 2020. Personally, I had to get used to working from home and having more interactions by phone or digital tools to communicate with my colleagues instead of face-to-face. -face. The only advantage has been the commuting, as I can use this time to have coffee, exercising. So now we have more flexibility. That sounds like a, a nice little advantage from uh, the past situation as well. A little bit more time to spend on other things than commuting. Um, so when you look back on that, that period, what do you see were the main challenges um, or opportunities? In my department, basically has been the supply chain management. Uh, there is a sales goal set for 2020 in which I had to make sure that our suppliers will be able to provide what we needed for this year. Annual forecast was shared with suppliers. But when coronavirus started, our forecast changed because many orders from our customers were postponed due to lockdowns, hold on on the product registrations by the government, limitations on air, air freight, which means that the supply chain got negatively affected. So I had to deal with few challenges. First, I need to know what we have in our warehouse, in a store, what is selling at what time and where, so we can quickly react to, to changing conditions and customer needs. For that reason, it has been crucial, the communication between our suppliers and internally with the sales teams in order to have re reliable purchase plan and supply chain management. Another point to take into account is to be prepared and have enough stock when everything comes to normality. Um, we also have to understand how our suppliers and their subcontractors' locations are spread out globally. This enables us to quickly predict how the supply chain will be impacted over this period, giving us time to immediately execute mitigation strategies. That's, um, that's quite a mouthful, uh, but I think it's pretty evident that you've learned uh, heaps in the past few months, and it also sounds like maybe uh, you're taking some of this learning into you know the future and and kind of the months to come um, actually making your department uh, more flexible more agile in dealing with these highly um, you know volatile situations i would say so when you look back um, and consider everything you've learned everything you've done what do you take away from this um, from this period in in work uh, you know, how are you moving forward? I can say that I have learned a lot. I have to adapt uh, my previous processes with the current situation. Uh, so that's one learning. And I also, I have improved my communication with the suppliers as it has increased due to the forecast changes. Our relation has improved and we, we are all going through the same situation. So we are understanding each other. That has been positive. Yeah, I think that's um, a great learning also and something we can all uh, relate to. We have all been in that same situation. We've all had to deal with a lot of unexpected uh, new uh, you know, problems and, and challenges. Um, and it's great how you've actually managed to turn that around and made that into a great learning opportunity moving forward. Um, so. Yeah, thank you so much, Naila, for sharing this, and um, I look forward to seeing you shortly. Thank you very much, Sandy. Bye-bye.